in Southern California, specifically by the beach, for the majority of the last 14 years. That's almost half of my time on this planet. That's a long time. But it's only within this last year that I finally made the decision to learn to surf. Now the idea had been floating around in my mind for quite some time. But the mood struck me last November and I just decided to go for it. I just want to point out that I made the decision to take my first surf lesson at one of the coldest times of year in LA when a 4-3 wetsuit was needed. Thank goodness for great counsel to advise me on what a 4-3 wetsuit was, the thickest, warmest wetsuit possible. The decision to finally hop on a board and paddle out has got to be one of my best yet and definitely a highlight of my last year. Not only has every single lesson and experience with me and Mother Nature make me feel completely alive and in alignment with a higher form of consciousness. I mean, picture it ice cold water cutting through your fingers as you paddle out, the ice cold water splashing into your face like you just jumped into an ice bath, the sun beating down on your back and in your face, providing you with any and all comfort that you could be looking for. And then finally getting out past the break to see the shoreline from a different perspective, putting the rest of your life into perspective. Those physical sensations I just described are why it has been the best decision. Because all of that is your mind, body, and heart being in the same space at the same time. And that is a gentle reminder that there's a force out there greater than all of us. But let's not talk about that force quite yet. Because what I just described is the paddle out. But the paddle in is a completely different story. The paddle in is a lesson in letting go, in surrender. Now you see when you paddle in, timing and intuition is involved. Most of the time, at least in my case as a beginner, you fall off your board. You stand up too soon. You don't stand up quick enough and there's a good chance a wave just pulls you under. And when that happens, it's terrifying. You feel so helpless and as much as you want to fight it, fighting it and resisting it is the worst thing that you can possibly do. And really, it's just best to not fight it. To trust that that force that just helped you paddle out is gonna help you pop back up and to let that wave take you and dance with it. I share this story with you because surfing has taught me to surrender, to accept, and to dance confidently in the gray. In my experience, most people love things black and white. No mixing of colors, zero intersection of the two, AKA zero gray. Why? In black and white, things are seemingly certain. Things are seemingly known. Things are seemingly safe. And I understand this because I swear this is one of my main life lessons on this planet that I am probably forever navigating. In these spaces of gray, uncertainty has its home. The main address, right, right here for all of us. See, in gray, there are so many unknowns. Things don't always feel safe, 
And I truly believe that this concept is relevant right now because of the global pandemic that we are all collectively facing as a society together. Working through together. Processing together. Which is forcing us to live in the moment and just be. Kind of like when you get knocked off your board in the paddle in. To let go of this idea of black and white while attempting to not worry about the past or get caught up into the what ifs of the future and really trying our best to be comfortable, find our footing, and lead heart forward in these uncomfortable gray spaces. But it's hard to do. Hi, <laughs> my name is Britt Turpak and I am a passionate mental health advocate, motivational speaker, and representative of NAMI Westside Los Angeles. As someone who teaches holistic positive coping strategies, such as mindfulness, meditation, and yoga on a day-to-day -day basis, all practices that work towards this idea of being in the moment, being comfortable in the unknown. They're all gray spaces. You would think I would have this down, <laughs> but I'm laughing because I don't. You see, I am just as much a student as all of my students, and it really is my clients who are, who are my teachers. So I'm constantly in practice. And as much as I know what it means to be in alignment, be in the moment, letting go, surrendering, acceptance, all of these buzzwords that we hear so often that theoretically make a lot of sense, but knowing and knowing, and I mean knowing, feeling, they're two completely different things. And really it took me that first surf lesson back in November to put all of this together. But I wanna keep it real for a second and talk about what do you do when you are in the gray? Because making the most of a situation and attempting to be comfortable in an uncomfortable space doesn't always feel good. And I only speak from experience but in my experience, it doesn't. It's challenging and it's sticky and nauseating. And sometimes you feel powerless and overwhelmed and the thought of leading with your heart and finding your footing seems impossible. But think of it this way. It's almost like making the most of a situation and finding what makes the chokeable, chewable. Thanks to my best friend who pointed that one out to me. So I encourage you to look at these seemingly chokeable moments as teachable moments. Moments of expansion. Moments making you the best version of yourself. So the lesson, what's the lesson in all of this? Gray is inevitable. It's like that ocean wave. It will always, always be there. So when the uncertainty and getting knocked off your board does arise, I encourage you to welcome it with arms wide open. Imagining it like a house guest. Knowing that it isn't becoming your permanent roommate but it's here to stay for a period of time and teach you something. And while visiting, you are going to accept it, make it feel at home, listen to the message it has to teach you, and know and trust that it will eventually leave and pass right through you. Growth is uncomfortable. Transition is uncomfortable. Being in the process of positive change is uncomfortable. Uncertainty 
is uncomfortable. All gray spaces. But that is where the most beautiful transformation happens. So the next time you're paddling in and you just get knocked off your board, let go. Ride the wave. Dance with the wave because when we dance confidently in the gray, the colors of life show up so much brighter. Thank you.